Aligning cameras in Maya can be a real pain. You might not know the focal length of the lens, and just manually rotating the camera can be really time consuming. I was playing around with photogrammetry the other day, and realised the benefits of having a scanned object to aid with the aligning of the camera to the image planes. Using Meshroom, you can also import the solved cameras, which are pretty much aligned automatically for you. In this video, I'll be going over how to do this. The first thing you want to do is download Meshroom. You can find a link to the website in the description. You're going to want to download the zipped folder, which you need to extract. Meshroom is portable and can be run without installation from within the extracted folder, like so. Run the software and import the photos you've taken of the object you want to model. You want to take photos of your object by moving 360 degrees around it, completing multiple loops from different distances and heights. I'm not going to be going into photogrammetry much at all, and will be keeping things very basic in this tutorial. Save your project and click start to perform the scan. Note this may take a while depending on how many photos you have, and you may find doing this overnight might be best. Once your scan is complete, you can go ahead and close Meshroom, and load up a new Maya scene. If you find where you saved your Meshroom file, you'll notice a folder called Meshroom Cache. Inside is all the files generated whilst Meshroom completed the scan. The two we're going to be interested in during this tutorial are Structure for Motion, which holds all the camera information and the positioning, and also the Texture folder, which holds the texture geometry. Right, so going back inside of Maya, you'll want to make sure you have a Blemic Import enabled. To do so, go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager, and make sure these ones are ticked. Okay, now we should be all good to go, and to start importing the files cached from Meshroom. The first we shall import is the OBJ from inside the Texture folder. It will come in at the wrong angle, but we don't want to change that just yet. What we do want to do is delete any geo we don't want, as it has a lot of unwanted geometry, which will slow our scene down. Once it's been imported, click on this setting to see your textures. To remove all unwanted faces from your geometry, use the marquee tool in face mode to select all the faces you want. Once Mail's finished doing its thing, you better invert the selection and then delete. Notice how I have holes on my scan. That's because the object I was trying to scan was quite reflective. This isn't going to matter so much in this tutorial, as this object is very much a tool to align my cameras correctly and to use as a base mesh to block mold around. Next, before we rotate the camera to be the right way up, we want to import the cameras so we can be working together to keep things aligned. To do this, we want to go to the Structure from Motion folder and then drag the file called sfm.abc into Maya. By using the outliner, which you can find by going to Windows Outliner, we're going to want to delete the point cloud as well as the cameras undefined from within the folder that gets imported. We don't need the point cloud because we have the geometry from the scan in the scene. By opening up the cameras folder, we can select all the cameras that have been imported and scaling them down like so. Don't worry, this is going to keep all the position information just fine. That just helps us see the scene a little bit better. By moving the geometry into the root group by the middle mouse dragon, we can now start rotating the scene to be the right way up. Ensure you have the group selected and not just dragged over the objects and everything will move in unison. Oh yeah, my scene's upside down, so just want to rotate it like so. Using center pivot and freeze transformations will help a lot because that reset your gimbal. I'm using the right angles of the cube to help me get the right angles on the object aligned correctly. So that when I start bottom them, I don't have to keep on rotating my geometry. Alright, and this is starting to look good. Now everything is orientated correctly, we're going to want to select some cameras which we will use as references, as at the moment we have so many. I'm going to select four, like so. And that one there. By shift dragging over everything, it will invert the selection. Now you can deselect your object by clicking it whilst holding shift. Hit delete to remove all the unwanted cameras. I'll show you the next step on one camera, but the same applies to them all. Find a camera in the outliner and middle drag it into the viewport to change what camera you're looking through. From the outliner, you'll see the camera name has the image file name in it too. You're going to want to copy and paste that part of the name for use in a second. Okay, right. Now what you're going to want to do is go to View, Image Plane, Import Image, paste the name, and that can select the image without having to like search for all of them, which is going to make it a lot easier. Click Open. 
and now the image plane has been imported into the scene. Now you've done that, make sure looking through camera is checked on, or else you'll see it in all other views as well. I found that my cameras were a little bit unaligned, but so clicking on this button, which is kind of like ghost mode, I just moved the camera slightly just to kind of get it aligned. Go ahead and do this for the rest of your cameras, and then you'll be good to go to start modeling. The good thing about this workflow is it automates a lot of the annoying work positioning the cameras. It also provides a rough mesh to use as a really great reference to work from, as it's a 3D object. I hope you found this tutorial interesting and able to pick out parts that will help you with your projects. I'm planning to make a tutorial about how to manually align cameras as there are a few different ways to do so. I'll put a link in the description when it's uploaded. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing and at any point if you get stuck let me know in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.